One day the construction will end and I can record clean audio. But in the meantime, I found out some very interesting news about some very old things from very old things. And I'm talking older than my Mima, Jai Jai. Rest in peace, Jai Jai. Did you know that a semicolon is a Greek question mark? Turns out you can learn a lot from old tech, which is why we're learning about some of the roots of query and where it comes from through typewriters. Querty, Dvorak, Colmac, Hazardy, Quirts. With these, we could debate all day long about what's actually more efficient and what helps a typer. Oh, that thing covered my. <laughs> Sorry about that. A pop up covered my script as I was reading it. Anyway, we could debate all day long about what's actually more efficient, what helps a typer type more words per minute than the other, but we're going to focus on the big dog Querty. Query may be the main arrangement we all know and some love, but where does it come from? And why does it exist? All those questions you ask while, you know, while you sit on the toilet kind of questions. <gasps> I wonder where Query comes from. Since I don't know everything about typewriters, we need to bring in a specialist. And so for this, we're bringing in local modern typewriter hobbyist and all around procurer of original clack. This is Gabriel. Gabriel collects and fixes typewriters. He has a lot of typewriters. A lot. So, Gabriel, in the world of typewriters, why does Query exist? Well, the earliest typewriters uh, were QWERTY, but there was competing ideas for it. Um, so, so Remington's earliest machines were QWERTY, and those were the first commercially produced machines. When they were, when, uh, um, I think it was Scholes or Glyden, I don't remember which of the inventors that was working on this, um, was working on solving, you know, how to, how to make it mechanically sound. Uh, they realized that they had to make sure that there weren't um, two commonly used keys right next to each other. Because um, if you have S and T right next to each other, uh, the, that combination is used over and over again. Um, you're going to get, the, the hammers are going to jam up and you're and you're gonna have to reach up and, and fix them pretty often. Okay, okay. Specifically for typewriters, is query beneficial to typing efficiency or mechanical efficiency? So I think, um, I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't really know. But I, I think it was, what they were trying to do was get a, a balance between those two things. I think the QWERTY keyboard is there to create the most efficient uh, keyboard layout that doesn't create uh, mechanical issues for a typewriter. What were some of the problems other layouts had? I think, I think the biggest issue that other layouts um, faced was that QWERTY was the dominant, um, the dominant format and it, it took over. I mean, it, was, it, it became the standard very quickly. And I think, uh, I mean, just like, just like all format battles, um, it, it had every other format had a very steep uh, hill to climb in order to, to gain popularity. And, and none really ever, ever broke through. Once that standard is taught, once you're teaching um, keyboarding classes in, in high schools and colleges, uh, and everyone is using that same format, I mean, it's a very difficult thing to, to escape from. But, um, but there is there's plenty of evidence that it's, it's not the most efficient layout. Do you have a personal layout preference? Um, I mean, my personal, I mean, I, 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 I'm really fascinated by alternative keyboard layouts, but they're very difficult to use for me um, because it's hardwired into my brain. Is there anything about QWERTY that stands out to you? Uh, one of my favorite things about QWERTY, and um, I don't believe this is intentional, but uh, the, the um, typewriter is the longest word um, that is only on the top row of the keyboard. The word typewriter, all the keys are on the top row. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an accident, but huh. it's a charming accident. I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe that was intentional. I, I, don't, I don't know that history, but. <laughs> <laughs> See, dude, it's people like Gabriel that preserve the history of where we came from so we can have a better idea of where we're going. I call it. Preservation of original clack. 
Yes, that's copyrighted, I claim it just now. I'm pretty sure the obsession of mechanical typing instruments dates well before our time. I wonder if they were just as crazy about the sound and the feel as we are nowadays. What would novelties ever look like back then? Did they have typewriter humor like we have keyboard humor? Did they spend all their money on them all the time and collect them like we collect our keyboards? I still have so many questions. We'll probably have to come back to this, but that's all the time we have today. So don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook to keep up with our new and original content.